This podcast features adults using adult language. Also, we are doing this primarily for fun. We have no intention to make any money off of it, and we're not sponsored by Wizards of the Coast or Nintendo. This is just us having fun in the world of Zelda with D&D. But enough of this legal disclaimer nonsense. It's now time to indulge in adventure. It is now time to read upon the Hyrule Chronicles. Wait, do you read something that you listen to? I don't know. But uh, yes, so welcome to Hyrule Chronicles, episode one, session one, number one. We're, we're number one, yay! Um, <laughs> this uh, no, 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 no. That's that's a different that's a different fandom. Yeah. Uh, so this is a. Uh... Have you ever caught a Ganondorf? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is fifth ed, fifth ed D and D with Zelda plastered all over it. Um, <laughs> Because it's, I'm a massive Zelda, Zelda fan. Game. Uh, but Zelda yeah. Indeed. Um, so with me today, I have uh, hopefully our, our, our party for the rest of time, uh, including some extras if we ever get some extras. We have <gasps> Steve the Seregios. Hello. We have... You may know me as a professional wrestler or an extra on many Twitch streams. Yay. Um, we also have the Nether Lad. You may not know me. <laughs> Okay. Nice. <laughs> and we have Avalanche. I'm just happy to be here. Hooray. Oh, vintage. Oh. Vintage. Vintage face wrestler. I'm just Come happy. Geniality prize goes to Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo Cruz of the party. Yes. Okay. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Um, for those listening at home, if you hear any kind of squeaking, that's more than likely my chair, for I have the squeakiest chair in the world, and I am in the process of trying to fix that. But uh, it's because I was an old man. <laughs> He's in the progress of, uh, in the process of DMing right now, so yeah. fixing a chair will not be on the menu today. Yes. Um, but yes, so, uh, there's not really much to do in, in regards to a catch-up sort of thing, um, because this is the first session. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the music here. Well, we something. could drop on with a quick, like, you know, hmm. what, where, where are we? What are we doing? When well, is it? Well, 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 I will, I will say if I can find my appropriate music, I thought I had this prepared, but apparently I didn't. Um, oh no, heinous music. Okay. Uh, let's see. This might be a bit more appropriate. That's better. Okay. So, in regards to those who pay attention to the Zelda timeline, or in general, this would take place approximately 20 years prior to the events of the Ocarina of Time. And for those who pay attention to their lore, if they wish to, um, that would mean that this is within the period of time known as the Hylian Civil War, um, or the Unification War, depending on what you call it. Um, now, unlike most things where said war would be raging, raging, raging until one last final climactic battle with magic weapons and giant monsters and everything, this one decided to take a bit more of a whimper stance rather than a bang. Um, this, the war itself seems to have congregated mostly towards the western fields of Hyrule, um, while the rest of the kingdom seems to have attempted to get on with their lives. And because of this, um, now that the war is dying down and there's less of a need for soldiers and there's lots of things left to explore in the world adventuring is a big thing um, and lots of people have gone to do their adventuring stuff uh, the current king of Hyrule is Alexander Gregory Hyrule um, a rather sad rather saddened and tired old man um, overseeing a kingdom that he works so hard not to try and fix but uh, is he's a Dark Souls boss he's a Dark Souls boss yes um, and he is, 
he is succeeded by his children, uh, his eldest son Marius, his daughter Sophitia, and his youngest son Rufus. Sadly, the Queen Grace had passed away some years ago when Rufus was born. Um, and yeah, so it's there has been a period of mourning for that one. Um, but closing in slightly, we find ourselves coming towards the small trading post known as Riggins Stead, which is a short ways north of Hyrule Castle Town. It lies on a crossroads between, uh, heading either towards Sarkosa Port Town or Drumnick Town to the north. Um, it is here that we begin our tale as the door to a local dairy farmer is knocked upon by one of our uh, hopeful adventurers today. And um, I'm going to roll a d3 or a d4 and re-roll on fours. And right. wh whoever, I'm going to designate numbers secretly and I'm going to have them be the first people to turn up. Um, and while I'm rolling this die, uh, before I continue, anybody know each other enough to come in pairs or are you all coming in individually? Um, maybe? <laughs> Maybe I um, think I, know, I think I know Neverland's character. Yes, um, uh, at least, at least, yeah. So we might not be moving together. We know of each other, but mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do uh, Steve, uh, then Neverland. Uh, Steve is one. Neverland's two. Avalanche is three. And reroll on fours. All right. That's three. So uh, door is knocked upon, and this rather portly gentleman um the dairy farmer see uh, he's balding um seems to be dressed in very practical clothes hurriedly uh, goes over to the door fumbles with the handle slightly and opens it and sees avalanche's character avalanche describe your character for us he's tall leanly built uh very young about 17 years old uh kind of shoddily uh unkempt more for uh, long travel than anything else, but you can tell that he probably doesn't take too much pride in taking care of his clothes or his appearance. His hair is shaggy. Uh, he's got white hair and red eyes like most of the Sheikah, but he has um, darker skin due to being outside in the sun doing a lot of um, work around the monastery that he was uh, sent to about four years ago. Okay. Um... He Okay, go on. He's kind of slouching, maybe uh, teetering slightly, kind of like sliding back and forth between the, his heels and the balls of his feet. Okay. Um, as uh, the farmer looks out, he goes, Oh, um, he hello there. Uh, uh, can I help you to... Uh, I hear for the help wanted ad. Um, and this, he brings up the help wanted ad that... Uh, was posted on uh, a notice board um, in Riggenstead, just outside of um, just outside the tavern known as the Octorock and Drum. Um, the help wanted ad said, uh, requiring urgent aid fi to find missing person. Uh, reward um, a reward will be paid. Please inquire inside. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm here about the 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 thing that the flyer. Yes, that one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, by all means, please come in. Um, and he moves out the way of the door and gestures you to come into his admittedly very cozy home. Um, it's small but practical. It fits. It definitely fits a need as opposed to a luxury. Thank you. And, and uh, I walk inside. Okay. Um, he br brings you in. Uh, he then um, like brings you into the living room area, sits you down on a uh, admittedly fairly uncomfortable sofa. Um, and just as he's about to ask if there's anything you'd like to drink or anything, there's another knock on the door. Um, and in comes... Uh, and he says, uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, and he hurries over to the door. Once again, fumbles with the latch. Um, and opens it, and he sees... Nedalad's character. Nedalad, describe your character for us. 
so we just had a character that was a bit unkempt. Um, mm -hmm. This is not that character. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the uh, farm farmer and uh, my uh, my soon-to-be fellow companion uh, will see a uh, youngish lad, uh, about 16, 17 as well. Mm -hmm. um, his hair is also a bit unkempt. However, there's a air of um, deliberateness about this. Um, his clothing is rather... Um, it's it's a casual outfit, but it's definitely uh, well tailored. Um, his clothes are impeccably clean, and as he looks at the uh, farmer, there's if if one pays close attention, uh, one would maybe see a hint of disdain, uh, but w which is quickly covered up with a uh, uh, a. a enchanting and, and bright smile as uh, the, the young man uh, starts uh, and says uh, greetings I uh, I saw that there was a help wanted sign and well I am in the need of uh, of work so oh uh, you've, you've come to help to oh great 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 uh, come in come in come in uh, I just you inside and you yeah a heading that's where you see um well, that's where you see Avalanche's character already sitting on the sofa. Um, another Sheikah, surprisingly. Um, you can see my character biting his lip for a moment, and I, uh, um, and my character Renji says, "Ah, competition. I see. Oh well, no matter. Uh, oh, good, uh, good to meet you. My name is Renji. I am Hikan. Nice to meet you too. And you too." Uh, anyway, um, sits down. Um, we're just the two, I suppose, then? Uh, well, um, I, uh, I, o I only put up the, the, the sign a couple of hours ago. I didn't expect to, and then there's another knock at the door. I said, oh, oh, it must be, must be quite popular today. Um, he heads over and manages to open the door, and that's when we finally see Steve's character. Steve, describe your character. Well, the other two Sheikah have very much, like, despite their Sheikah uh, heritage, may not have, like, dressed, like, to display such thing. My character, on the other hand, very much has. <laughs> wearing a wearing a sword fighter's haori and a wide brim sedge hat, he looks like a archetypal, like, the lone samurai. It, you, you, he'd see, he's reasonably fresh-faced, not as much as the other two, as he's in his 20s. But even still, it's hidden slightly by the hat, and of course he has he has a pair of round-rimmed sunglasses and a smoking pipe, uh, which is slightly slightly burning away, and a sword on his hilt. Oh, um, hello there. Uh, you um, are you are, are you here regarding the ad? Slightly. Yeah, not lightly. Oh. Uh, Please come in, come in. Um, and he gestures you inside, and as you head in, this time he he pauses a moment and looks outside just to make sure no one else is turning up, and then closes the door. Um, but inside you see the other two Sheikah, um, and uh, as you walk in, he says, um, "Right, uh, well, uh, did you um, did any of you want anything to drink? I've got uh, some water or uh, some milk. Um, got some bread and cheese if you don't need anything to eat. What oh. kind of milk was that? Uh, it's just cow's milk. I'll take a glass, please. Okay. I, I, I'm fine, thank you very much. I just had a, a, a rather sufficient breakfast in uh, the inn. Okay. And he turns to regard, uh, <laughs> turns, turns to regard show. I was like, what, um, what about? He, he, he's leaning against the wall. <laughs> just rather impassively. It's just like, it's sort of like just shakes, shakes his head slowly. Like, oh, okay. Okay. I'll be, I'll be back in a moment. Um, he disappears. Um, and leaving the three of you alone for a few moments. <laughs> I lean over to Renji. 
He looks like home. He looks political. Is that a bad thing? Well, it does not uh, have to be. He uh, he shrugs his shoulders and says, "Um, look, this is my first time out of Castletown, so usually when people dress up like like you, um, that is official business. Um, nothing against it, no, but like." I wouldn't need it, you, if, you, if you know what I mean. Um, and you can see uh, Renji kind of like slipping something off of his fingers and pocketing it. I'm not here on any business. Well, if you're not any here on any business, why are you here? Self-discovery. To help a farmer. Look, I'm I'm here just for money. I'm I'm, uh, oh, darn it. Um, in my haste, I didn't really see if there was any reward. I'm sure you'll be paid sufficiently. Oh, I hope so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, after a few moments, uh, the farmer comes back. Um, and passes uh, Hikan a, a small glass of milk. Um, tastes about as good as any milk you'd probably have tasted before. Just generic milk. Sadly not Lon Lon milk which gets you drunk, but by all means. Um, uh, he he sits he sits down in one of the nearby chairs and says um, uh, th thank you. Thank you all for, uh, for coming. Um I was, I'm, I'm desperate for help. I really am. My um, my son's gone missing this morning, and I don't know where he's where he's gotten to. And I'm I'm really concerned. And I, I told him not to run off, but he's, um, he's he has real trouble trying to explain the situation to you. Is he a little boy? Oh, he's, uh, it's, it's about 10 or 12, uh, 10 or, 10 or 11. He's, um, he's, he's, he's old enough to run his own errands and work, uh, work on our farm, but he's, he's just, he's still, he's still a kid and I, I really don't want anything to happen to him. Um, what was the last known location of, uh, your son? Oh, um, well, uh, it's, I suppose it's a bit more than that. Uh, this morning at sunup we went outside to find that all of our cows had disappeared, and there was a break in the fence. Um, I told him that, uh, we'll, we'll figure this out later in the day, we'll, we'll go out and search for them, and if we can't find them, we'll just have to buy new cows. Um, but... Uh, little did I know, hours later he had he went missing as well. I think he went off to try and find them by himself, and I haven't heard back from him for a while. I thought he'd come back, might have gone off to to play, or uh, maybe just go to the edge of edge of the forest and then come back. But I haven't I haven't heard anything from him. Hmm. He never goes out this far. He never goes out for so this long. Just to clar clarify, um, you want us to look for your son, who is looking for your cow? Yes. Or cows? Yes. Right. I don't... At this point, I'm not dreadfully concerned about about the cows. I really just want my son back. I can buy new cows if need be. I, I understand. What were to happen if we find your son and your cows? Um... Well, I can. Well, I was I was gonna be paying you all a um, hundred gold. It's all I have. Uh, even if it was just my son. But if it if you find any cows, then fantastic. But I'm not sure if I can give you anything extra. 
A, a hundred, you say? Yes. Um, each or shared or how? How do I? Um... You can see his kind of like his his expression kind of like drop a bit. Um, like Priori is like he he tries very carefully to explain that it'd be a hundred gold between all of you if you were all to do it because that's literally all he has money wise right right right, right, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm trying to um, yeah, yeah. As, um, as assuade him and like like I, I don't i don't mean it that way i'm just just for my own edification um that seems quite reasonable to me at, at least i'm not sure about my um confederates 100 will be enough I don't... I'm not much familiar with money, so that's fine by me. It can buy you a lot of milk. Yeah, we'll see how much the milk I want costs. <laughs> Even that sort of milk. Yeah, definitely. You, you'll you be good. Um, I say we accept. As you, as you do... Uh, as you do, there is another at the door. This one a bit heavier than before. Um, the farmer says, "Oh, I, excuse me a moment." And he stands up and he hurries over. Listen, listen, we should have accepted. If that is his son, we are in accord already. Oh, I was just gonna ask about the forest that the kid goes to. Don't want to be part of where he's line. going. Ag yeah. Like agree first, then details. I mean, so as he as he opens the door, he comes back in, and behind him, with a clunk, 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 is a person in heavy armor, and resting on one shoulder appears to be a large battle axe, and this woman appears to be Gerudo with a shaved, the size of the head is shaved to mohawk stuff. She looks at all of you with this wide, excited grin, says. Well, blow me down. I guess we got ourselves a regular party here. I'm guessing you guys are going out to help this guy, right? Yeah, well, that is sort of the idea, and you are? Oh, uh, forgive me. My name is Tyrena Gall, and um, I guess I'll be coming with you. Right. Okay. Sure. I... yeah, I think. I have no qualms. I mean, I'm okay with it, but... Yeah, it looks kind of heavy compared to what I've seen your people in. <laughs> well... I mean, sure. It's heavy for some people, but not for me. Wait, what, what have you seen them in? A lot, a little, how to phrase it, colors, bright colors, we'll go with that one. Right, yeah, metallic isn't really that fancy. <laughs> it's not fancy, but it's practical, and it suits my needs perfectly. So, I suppose. <sighs> well, um, I'm Renji, just Renji. And these are my compatriots. Um, yeah. I think we show, can go. Show raises his voice in Gerudo. Haha, <laughs> languages. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, good old green. Sava Sava. Uh, my name is Show Dias. I, I look forward to making your acquaintance. I look at Show and I shout also in Gerudo Holy crap, you speak it too? <laughs> Joe, Joe, like, I dart, dart over, you could see you past the sunglasses, like, oh, I was expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> he tilts his head, he's like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so, well, this should be fun. So, um, turns to the farmer. So, you're, uh, you're, uh, so I expect you've explained the whole situation to your friends, but what exactly am I in for here? Um, and the farmer begins to explain again to 
the Gerudo exactly what's happened. Um, before eventually saying, um, if you're if you're looking for any kind of tracks, then uh, well, I can oh, I can show you where the cows left, and maybe that might help. Um, he leads you out, uh, he heads towards the back door uh, to the outside. So I suppose it's just a simple uh, search and rescue, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do this uh, quick snap. <laughs> and this is Renji just trying to appear more knowledgeable than he is. <laughs> okay. Like he, he, he desperately wants to take charge in this sort of situation. Yeah. Um, he brings you all outside, and the weather's fairly pleasant. It's about it's about early afternoon at this point um, and le leaning into the outside he shows you this nice big pasture where there would be where there should be plenty of cows but sadly there isn't any um, and he brings you over to like a small stable sort of area which is more just like a an overhanging carapace to keep the the place dry when it rains as opposed to a proper building um, and you can see there is a massive gaping hole in it, uh, as if something had broken through it. Does it look like it was broken um, from the outside of the gate or from the inside of the gate? Make an investigation roll. I, I may, I may, do, I will do the same. Okay. Forgive me, I'm not too familiar with it. That's all right. Uh, there should be a skill called investigation somewhere. Um, yeah, I see it. I just don't know how to get it to roll. You okay. can just press press the number, press the name of the skill. All right, I should probably take that off then. It's still trying to have me edit it. So ah, I see. <laughs> Okay. And you said investigation. Yep. Mm. Okay. So, uh, again, you got a. Um, I got a five. <laughs> you got a five. Uh, while uh, uh, Show got himself a twelve. Um, in this instance, uh, you can't be sure either way. You can't, but. Uh, show you believe that it might have been broken from the inside as if so, as if possibly one of the cows just punched through some fairly brittle wood and then just wandered off by itself um, it's a, it's, so it certainly seems like it was a fault of the of the building as opposed to any kind of outward um, outward malicious forces hmm. Seems like know. they broke out. Then it should be easy to follow them. They're not being led anywhere. Hmm. Either of you have any experience tracking? Lots. Well, then, Let's uh... see which way they went. Okay. I got a ten. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yay! So, can you you look around and you see you think, oh, they must have gone this way, and you begin wandering in a direction, but um, show stops you briefly, and points to a set of tracks in in the grass. These very distinct cluster of hoof prints uh, going in a rather neat line uh, towards these forests over here, which are near the southwest of Riggenstead. In my defense, I'm not used to grasslands. Maybe next time. <laughs> well, we'll move into the forest soon enough. You might have your chance there. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> right. Uh, what about the Gerud Gerudo? Um, Tracy, was it? T Tyrina. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, 
I'm terrible with names. Um, you'll you'll notice. Um, but Tar- Tarina. Yes. Yeah. Um, like it's obvious from your garb. Um, your like fighter type dealy. Um, what is your specific skill set? <laughs> She begins to chuck and it's like, well, some would say I'm somewhat driven, she explains as she walks with you towards the edge of the forest. Yes, um, well, uh, let's, let's just say that I belong to a very specific order. Um, I am a paladin of Etheria. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, must that, admit- That's not going to be a problem for you, is it? No, no, it's Good. not going to be a problem of, for me. Um, um, I understand, like, balance in all these sort of things must be held. Um, it's just, I personally am not um, called to such service. You need to, you need to be able to have a bit more confidence in your words, friend. You're, you're stammering, stammering a little. You need to put yourself out there. Come on. Um, and she begins to chuckle to herself as she walks on. Um, and uh, as you get to the edge of the forest, you notice that the tracks kind of begin to disperse. Some of them, like there is a, a large number of them that go in a certain direction. The others go in other directions. Um, and the forest itself seems fairly thick, all things considered. It's not like a, it's not like a. Sp- a sparse gathering of trees. It's quite dense. Hmm. So, if you wish to continue, I will need another survival check. That's better. You've got a beat on him now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you believe that the largest gathering of these cows, and you part, and as you look around, you do see human footprints, like regular humanoid footprints, just wandering off in this same direction. Um, and you head further in to the forest area. Um, and it's about an hour or so's worth of travel as you navigate through the underbrush and uh, between trees. Um, occasionally one of you gets your foot caught on something, but it's easily removed. Um, and as you get there, you find a clearing nearby. Which is over uh- here. As this happens, I will remove um, a shield that I've been carrying on my back. Okay. And I will strap it to my uh, left arm, having still a an, uh, a sheathed weapon on my left hip as well. Okay. Okay. So as you progress, as you progress towards the south, you see a nice large clearing. Uh, in it appears to be um, a series of propped-up tents, um, a running river, and an old fire pit. The trees here are quite dense and big. Um, around this fire pit are several corpses of cows, and near, and right next to said fire pit is a small, unconscious humanoid form. Are the cows dead? Uh, make a make either a nature or a survival check. Uh, twelve. Okay. Um, so with twelve, you can determine quite clearly that these cows are in fact dead. Okay. As you're moving forward, I want you to make a perception check. <laughs> straight for straight forward. <laughs> <laughs> straight forward, just so uh, well, Dala can show and Tyrina just creep forward. Renji just just runs through everything right over to the unconscious boy. Um, Got priorities. <laughs> if I bring you back alive, I get paid. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got a sixteen, uh, six, a eleven, and a thirteen. Um, I just need to get my stats and stuff. Okay. 
Okay. But regardless, as you go through this, um, you find yourself. Uh, you you run over Renji, and you see that you see this boy. He looks about ten or eleven years old. So it's quite it's quite possible that this is the boy that the farmer was talking about. Um, he appears uh, beaten but alive. Um, with his hound, hands and feet bound, though he is unconscious. Uh, I mean, yeah. wrench is my body. What's up? <laughs> Every, everything okay? <laughs> You've gone quiet. And the lad, buddy. Sorry, um, oh. my. Mic trouble. Uh, ah. I wish to say that I will procure a dagger from my pack. Okay. And I will um, cut the bonds that he is in. Okay. And I will try and attempt. Uh, I will attempt to. Um, is he unconscious? Yes. Yes, I will try and attempt to um, gently uh, nudge him back to consciousness. Okay, um, so you, you cut his bonds and you know Shemad Cartons is asleep. He looks up and says, uh, What? What? What is. Where am I? You're, you're in a clearing in the woods. Um, can you tell us who you are? Um, I, I, I'm just. I'm Josiah. Josiah? Um, Good. Do you know what you were doing before? This, I, I came, I came looking for uh, my my father's cows and these okay, little, okay. these little that's, things. That's little things. The, yeah, like little um, little little mouse things. They, as you're saying that, um, I want uh, everybody to make a, another yep. perception check. Okay, as this happens, I do wish to put a uh, hand on the hilt of my sword. Okay. I got a nat one. That cow is dead. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen for me. Yeah, one, so, one. so, you're kind of like, that cow is fucking dead, man. It's just, wow. Um, <laughs> uh, show and Renji... Um, you hear very softly throughout the forest and throughout the underbrush, is like, Flashbacks. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, my lady, we are not alone. And I draw a uh, long sword from its scabbard, and there's... Um, what are your passive perceptions, by the way? Uh, I forget to calculate passive P. Um, it's 10 plus whatever your bonus to perception is. Ah, so my passive P is 13. 15. 15. Yeah, you'll probably notice small rectangular motes of blackness rising from the blade. Okay. Um, as a neat sword. <laughs> Uh, Tyrina draws her, her great axe and as you alert them there's a rustling from the bushes and out comes these small mouse slash goat things with little pitchforks. Um, there's about five of them in total with uh, uh, there's five of them in total. One of them is slightly bigger and looks more important than the other ones um, but if I put this on there there and then there there we go and they seem to be like advancing and menacing you slightly uh, with the with these pitchforks things and the big and the bigger one just goes get them get them they take our food kill them um and with that i would like people to very swiftly roll initiative for me 18 I'm scanning the horizon. 
<laughs> you got our back. Uh, there we go. So Terry really gets a 13. And I need to do these manually because I think they're all broken. Are they all broken now? Yep, yeah, so the mini balloons get that one and then the not so mini balloon. Sweet. Okay. So, initiative order with Nateen, it's Hakan, followed by Renji with a 17, followed by Tyrena with a 13, followed by the not so mini balloon with a 12, followed by a mini balloon with a 10, and then followed finally by Sho with a 7. Hooray! Hooray! So, uh, Hikan, uh, you look around and you see that you're, you're somewhat surrounded by these small blin like creatures, uh, with this one at the top here being slightly more menacing than the others. What do you do? Uh, how high is that cl um, wall? It's about, it's about a five foot ascent. Oh, cool. So, did, um, I want to move right next to the big one. Okay. Do I need to make any checks for that to get over the wall? Nah, it's fine. And you're a monk. It's okay. Perfect. Alrighty. And then I am going to swing my quarterstaff at him. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So with a natural 20, um, you deal 10 points of damage. Um, so you, you, like, you hop up and then all, like... Almost with an elegance that belies uh, your previous social interactions, you just twirl the staff and crack this thing straight across the face. And in the middle of its stone tire, it's like, da -da -da ah! um, but it's still standing, it's just severely hurt. Um, then I will use my unarmed strike, or my bonus action, to do an unarmed strike on it. Okay. Does a 12 hit? A 12 does not hit so as you as you follow up with us with a with a brief palm strike to catch it off guard it seems to tumble with the hit that you gave it beforehand and just like managed to avoid the hit before getting back to its own feet and it's just it's bleeding from the mouth and it's very 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 unimpressed with what you've just done with to him very un, very not pleased um i got this guy <laughs> Renji. And as um, as you say, I got this guy, I point my sword and uh, shout, You mean that one? And a <laughs> shadow um, just fl flies from my blade straight into uh, the enemy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Ooh. Wait, wait, which, which one? Um, that one. This one. Okay. So you're like, is that one? And there's a crackle and this pixelated black orb of energy just <laughs> uh, flies from the blade. Um, and as you, as you declare it, the mini blue looks over and goes, well, oh shit! And this ducks down into the bush as it soars overhead, searing parts of the bush and then la hitting a tree nearby and scorching the bark. Um, sadly, you have missed with your attack. I'm... Um very yep. sorry to hear that and i've also changed the damage because i don't do any charisma damage just yet okay um yeah that's fine uh so you have you use your action to cast a spell um but i will um if it's possible like according to your rules i can use a bonus action spell as yes. well right yeah as long I as will... it's below second so as long as it's second level or lower Yes, I will hex the boss. Okay, so he is now hexed. Which uh, ability score and checks subsequently are you cursing? I am cursing um, dexterity. Dexterity, okay. So I'm going to put him a little snail icon to say that he's a touch more sluggish. Um, but yeah, uh, are, are you going to move at all or are you going to stay where you are? Uh, I'm going to stay with uh, Josiah. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, I am going to step over here. Okay. Um, on Tyrena's go, uh, she's going to... Let's see. Where does she go? Um, she's going to join the fun. Uh, she's going to uh, head over here. She's going to run up this incline. 
going to raise her great axe and she's going to take a swing at the leftmost mini blin um almost l laughing all the way and with the 22 and 14 damage just it's not so much like a a, a a wide swing to the left it's an overhanded sledgehammer hit that just like crunches this mini blin into the floor bifurcate they would it would completely cleave it in two if the axe were any sharper but it catches the thing in the middle and just squishes the rest of it into the floor it's like when you're destroying. cutting wood and you don't get all of it yeah um <laughs> Skullhammer baseball. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fight's not over yet. <laughs> um, on the not so mini blinds turn, um, what he's going to do is he's going to utilize. Uh, he's going to um, try and jab back at you, Hikam, with his with his trident. He's going to. Um, because you're the closest one and you hit him the hardest, he's going to try and stab back at you with his trident. Uh, and he gets a 14 versus AC, which I don't think hits you. It does not. Okay, so you you rather casually step out of the way of this attack. You see, like, the concussion and the hex seem to have kind of slowed his ability to hit anything down. Um, with... And that would be his turn, because he doesn't want to move anywhere. Um, the mini blinds, the one attacking Tyrena, is going to, to see if it can avenge her friend, uh, his friend. Which is currently Pate. Which is currently Pate, and sadly does not get anything. Um, it, it's, it manages to misjudge his attack and snag a part of the armor, but not, but not actually break through and do any damage. And Tyrena just looks down to this thing and smiles. Um, I initially thought it was going to be like, like in Zelda when you hit a wall with your sword and just think. Yep. Wang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ding ding, too bad. Uh, and these two mini blends are going to run over here. This one's going to be able to get into melee range with Show, and the other one is going to get about. He's going to run over here and this far. So this one thing is going to run up to this uh, to this samurai looking dude, this cool as ice dude, and try and stab at it with his trident. Getting a 16 versus AC? It does hit. Okay, so you take 5 piercing damage as this thing somehow, some way, shape or form, stumbles its way towards you and manages to jab its pike into your thigh. And just quite deep as well. Right in, right in the artery. Yes, right. I am. I am two HP. Um, <laughs> no. Level I'm one. Screaming. Level one. Level, level one. one. <laughs> God damn it! And it is now your turn to retaliate. <laughs> Sufficiently annoyed. It's like, damn it! I was looking cool there. He reaches in, like Show reaches into like his like hurry and pulls out a broad, like a pretty fucking big crystal on a necklace. It starts to glow for a brief moment. And then he just puts a palm out to it, and a bright, glowing ball of fire appears. <laughs> I'm chromatic orbing this thing right in the face. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Sadly, um, the mini blin like, sees this and is like, oh no, and like still holding onto his trident which is still in your leg you turn to cast a spell which moves your leg which manages to pull the thing just to, just enough out of the way for it to tumble and avoid the blast which scorches the dirt and grass b behind it um does it, does it like go over the spear <laughs> uh i'm gonna make it roll a strength save which has a minus one with it does not it is still in your leg <laughs> And is now unarmed. <laughs> it's like, hmm. <laughs> oh. Do I have anything I can do for bonus action? I don't think I can. I um, don't think so. Not at the moment. No. Never mind. Next level you will, though. It'll Menacing. 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 <laughs> Menacingly glaring at this thing who's decided to fork my leg. <sighs> I'm not food. Yeah. Um, and with that, uh, it's... Can COs go? Alrighty, well, since I'm still here and he missed, I'm gonna hit him with my staff again. Oh, no, I'm not. 
Mm. Oh boy. You're gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems he seems to have gotten the hang of this now and he manages to to scuttle underneath the the swing of the of the uh, quarter staff. And then unarmed strike as the bonus action. Yeah. 21. That is uh, so it's like so he ducks under it and he goes ha ha and you just punch him right in the fucking nose. Um for six. Again, it doesn't kill him. But it severely wounds him. He but you broke his nose. <laughs> he, he, you broke his nose. Um, his face no longer resembles a face. Uh, it's <laughs> he looks like he's on his very last legs. Um, and yeah, is there anything you want to? Want, anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, no, that's good for the moment. Okay, Renji. All right. So, um, seeing that my last attack did not hit. Um, yeah, I'm, um, instead, there's a, I close my eyes for a split second, then focus on the, uh, boss blin again, um, mm -hmm. and there is a, uh, suddenly in, in his ears, there's a shriek from some unearthly creature that has not been heard on this world for many years, um, and he must make a wisdom saving throw as I cast Tall the Dead. Oh. Reflavored for my purposes. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm, he... I'm, wouldn't it be like, a, I assume it's probably like a re dead scream or something? I was about to um, ask. Oh. Twilight Messenger? Hell oh. no! <laughs> okay, so that is a um, 1D. What? Well, um, let's see if this works in roll 20 already. Uh, okay, so that's five necrotic damage, plus okay. um, three for my hex. Okay. Um, you see that it, like he can barely comprehend himself as he's staring down his cannon, and then suddenly he hears this noise, and he just seems to shrivel. Like, the rest of him seems to age almost rapidly as the life essence from him, from this just ungodly noise, just takes everything from him, and he collapses to the ground, dead. He had one hit point left. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Hikan looks at his fist and goes, Holy crap! <laughs> I am the Iron Fist. <laughs> Minus two to intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay, and uh, on her go, Tyrena is going to uh, take her great axe and take a strike at at the other mini blin, um, hoping to deal with damage this one too. With a 16, she definitely hits, and also completely and utterly destroys this one in a similar manner. It's like whack, whack a, a mini, mini blin. blin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quack turn, quack. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and now that she's free from. Uh, from these various distractions, she's going to hop down this area, uh, hop over the cow, and try and make her way over to see if she can help out her newly found companions. Um, the not so mini blin is dead. Uh, the mini blin is now. This mini blin is now completely unarmed. Um, and oh, menacing this motherfucker. <laughs> make an intimidation check with my minus charisma. Uh. Yeah, because so, he's like he's he's unarmed now and staring down this this samurai dude. Uh, he's gonna attempt a wisdom save against that. Nope. Okay, so <laughs> you're staring down this thing. And it's like you, like you've got this this his weapon still sticking out of your leg, and you're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, like the, steel focus, steel <laughs> focus, and he's just gonna. He's going to use his action to disengage and run screaming and flailing as far away as he possibly can. <laughs> um, and the other one, uh, still armed and slightly less intimidated, is going to run over here 
and he's going to attempt to attack Renji and probably not do very well. Um, he's going to see the see the man with the glowing sword and the and the shield who's been firing bolts of energy and stuff and just be like ah and gets a twenty on his attack roll. Does that, that does hit? hit. Yeah. That okay, does so he hit. takes th three piercing damage. Is somehow in its mad flailing, it runs over and manages to slip the spear just under your shield and <clears throat> hit you in the side. Um, to quote the great uh, hero. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, uh, less great hero, more Roblox death noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I was going for something more uh, sophisticated, but all right. <laughs> and then um, that's the last mini blinds go. It is now show's turn. Looking down at the one that's like just probably like feeling like top shit. He's, he poked the big, the big, the big like. Demon sword guy is just gonna point his just gonna point his hand at him again. It's like another prismatic, a uh, chromatic orb. <laughs> okay. Same element. Missed again, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, so it's like ah, and it's just you you fire as you, this time it's a, it's a it's the same spear that's the problem. It manages to as you turn around you lose a little bit of balance slightly and stumble which causes your arm to flail to the side and this orb of fire just sails overhead in this nice arc and just sets fire to a nearby bush <laughs> crap <laughs> great and powerful destruction um just not at the, not at the right have, thing we're gonna have to put that out <laughs> um but yeah uh and i guess otherwise if there's nothing else you'd like to do, it would be Hakan's turn. Okay. I can dash, right? Uh, yeah. So, you, so do you get key points at this level, or is it level 2 that monks get key points? Level 2. Okay. Um, so you'd have to spend your action to dash, and you'd be able to get into melee range, but you... Oh, yeah, you'd have your bonus action left, so you'd be able to... Give him a, give him a swift chop to the face. <laughs> Power. Six... Seven... You. So I'm going to dash over here. Yep. And then I'm going to punch this guy. Okay. With a 24. Crack. So you, you run over and just manage to donkey punch this thing in the back of the head, which is impressive considering it's so small. Um, <laughs> and it deals a significant amount of damage but it stays standing, managing to find itself at a single hit point. <laughs> Surrounded. Is like three completely... <laughs> like... oh, yeah, get... yeah, so in this one, you get advantage if you were flanking, um, but yes. you didn't get a crit on your thing. You got a 19, though. That's impressive. Um... <laughs> I was just curious. The yeah. poor little mini is currently being menaced by bleeding out samurai dude who somehow has gone down. Guy who just donkey punched a motherfucker and then demon sword guy. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> this is my life now. Yeah. As far as my life goes. <laughs> and then it'd be Renji's turn. Renji, this right. thing stabbed you and besmirched your honor and clothing. Yes. Uh, I do need to make a constant. Uh, concentration check. Okay. Uh, for my uh, hex. Yeah. So do a con That's save. A cons con save. Oh, save. Yeah. So you do. A, I think a concentration check is a con save against a certain DC. Give me a second. Um, like I've never, I've never had concentration checks before in any of my campaigns. I, I think it was ten plus the damage uh, you get, which would be thirteen. Yeah, so you managed to make it. You may you maintain your hex. Good. Which I, with a bonus action, place on the leftover miniblin. Yeah. Oh no! Again, it oh, is no. going to be. Oh, um, no. It's going to be uh, dexterity. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn to him and just straight up attack him with my strangely dark sword. Okay. You hit him. Uh, no need to roll for damage because he's got the one hit point. How do you want to do this? I hit him. <laughs> yep. Because you've got advantage because you're flanking with Hikan. 
Yeah, but that doesn't immediately give me... Doesn't immediately make me hit him, does well, it? Oh, that's your constitution, sorry. Right. I thought, I thought that was your attack roll. Never mind. No, 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 Go no, no. It. That was my constitution. <laughs> um, but um, I'm flanking, so advantage. Yep. And... Hoo-wee! A... <laughs> so how would you want to do this, considering you got a natural 20? Um... <laughs> okay, okay, um... Just, if, if you're not agreeing to this, just let me know. Um, I stab him through the chest. Yep. And part of the wound, like, it doesn't bleed. But there is, like, a slowly growing lack of creature in, like, pixelated Oh, shit, fashion. you de him. Kinda. <laughs> him. You de him into the Shadow Realm. Fuck. Twilight Realm. <laughs> Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, there's this bit where he's like, you stab into him, he struggles a bit, and then he seems to freeze in place, as then he starts to just suddenly pixelate out of, out of existence. And then, like, the, the moats just, I mean, it start to rise into the air rather quickly, as if, um, mm. as if being teleported directly to the, to the Twilight Realm. And it's just, huh. Um, but Show, shows like what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I quickly sheathe my sword again. Okay. Um, this remaining mini blin in his own power just fucking bolts. He's gone. He 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 disappears. He's I just, got yep. no hits, but I'm a scary motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so looking around you see the the, the destruction around you uh, Josiah's still there, still on the floor um, I roll a hit die you may roll a hit actually what Ty what's going to happen is Tyrene is going to come up to you and pat you on the back and just do a quick pat on the back and give you 5 points of lay on hands with ah, that back up to full good old hands gonna get these hands thanks lady <laughs> Yeah, no, don't, don't mention it. You guys are pretty awesome. Like, you cl clearly me coming here was going to result in a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun today. That is good to hear. <laughs> well, I think our business uh, will be concluded after bringing back young Uzziah. All the cows are dead, right? All, all, all the cows are dead. They seem yeah. to have been like... Br like brutally killed or half eaten it's just a mess gross yes um, alright well there's nothing else to punch and we got the kid we should probably head back just yeah I suppose so before more of them turn up yeah I'm I'm holding my side for a moment. Like, all right, this should be good. Um, I can carry you, maybe. Yeah, you don't have to. Don't worry. I uh, I can handle myself. Well, someone should Harry carry the child if he can't walk. Um, yeah. Tyrion offers to do that. She like sheathes her sheathes the weapon and then rather easily hefts up hefts up the boy. You okay, Josiah? I'm just tired and hurt. I just mm. want to go home. Fair enough. We'll uh, we'll get you back to your father. Mm. Just relax. It won't take long. Okay. And since she's carrying the boy, I'll lead the way back. Okay. Uh, and as as we walk, I uh, like how long is the uh, the trip back? It'll be about an hour. But no, um, yeah. I make sure that um, during the, the the walk back, I compliment uh, Show Hikan and Tarina on um, on a job well done. I mean, I just punch stuff. You're the person with the neat sword. Well, mm. I I need I need a sword. You have. Uh, you have I your own. Yeah, but you, you have 
You have skills, man. You're very well done. Thank you. Very neat sword. Uh, yeah, don't don't mention it. Um, especially when you are ever in Hyrule Castle, don't mention it, please. Hey, I don't think anybody'd believe me anyway. They might for me. And you. But I'm got... not. But I'm not here on crown business. Therefore, nothing I see really matters. You've got. He looks at show trying to figure out what to say. A mean face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Torita bursts out laughing. <laughs> that is a new one. <laughs> no, no, it worked. It made the other little thing run away. That is it true. You uh, you have certainly have a gift for that. It's a compliment, trust me. So does smile beside himself. Just, just up, ups his hat to just see over his glasses, his eyes. He's, he's actually smirking, having a good time. It's like mm. the crackling away of the pipe, a little bit of a smirk. Yeah. <laughs> Mitsurugi as <is> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> with so, fireball. <laughs> so you managed to make your way back. Um, it's about, uh, yeah, as I said, it was an, it's about an hour later. Um, so about mid afternoon by the time you managed to find your way back into, uh, Riggenstead and get to, uh, the dairy farmer who gave you the quest at the, uh, to begin with, um, upon seeing his son, uh, the farmer just runs over and, Immediately, like immediately tries to coddle him and say, "Oh, oh, Josiah! Oh, thank God you're, sa- oh, you're safe!" And it's almost like on the verge of tears. Um, just so thankful that his boy has come home. Hmm. I understand your concern, sir, but I think he needs some rest. I concur. Yeah, or a doctor. Uh, doesn't seem to be in too bad of a condition, but rest is definitely a good idea. Uh, he uh, he nods in agreement um, and uh, leads Tyrina and uh, Tyrina to the boys' room where he's put he's put to bed, um, and then Tyrina comes back out and joins with you guys um, after a brief few moments. Uh, the farmer comes back out and says, uh, "It comes back out with like a, f- a somewhat sizable pouch with him." He says, "Um, that's a uh, really helpful. Thank you. Um, you've you've done me a great service, and uh, as promised, um, he hands you the uh the bag, Renji. Um, it, cl- it clinks and clatters as you um as you take it." Mm-hmm. One hundred, one hundred gold, as, as promised. Thank you very much. And uh, if there's anything, uh, ever anything we can do for you, uh, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll consider it. Absolutely. Thank you. Of um, course. Is it, uh, you, uh, do forgive me. I need to make sure my boy is okay. Of course. Um, the very uh, best to you and and your son, of course. Oh, and, uh, um, t- tell, uh, tell, tell Sammy at the bar, um, that, uh, you've, you've done this for me. I'm sure that if you need a, a place to stay or a good drink, then she'll be able to give you a bit of a discount. It's, it's very rare that we get a lot of people coming in through here, and, um, it's very rare that people who come in stick around long enough for, um, to do such good things. We'll certainly keep that in mind. Thank you. I know where I'm going. <laughs> right. I suppose uh, you all want your share. Yeah. He goes over, reaches into the pouch, and takes fifteen, and then just walks away. Show takes the same. Right. Uh, Tarina takes. Also takes fifteen, 
kind of like reaches in the pouch, kind of like brings it up, gestures to, um, gestures to Renji. It's like, that'll be for me. And heads, uh, like walks out. It's like, hey, monk boy, wake up, uh, wait up. I'm kind of drinking too. Yay, drinking so, buddies. So my internet just burped and I didn't get uh, the conversation up until Tyrena getting 15 gold. Yep. Uh, she just takes the money. She um, like takes out in like a, a stack, and takes out like gestures to you, saying, "Taking this," and then uh, just says, uh, "Tells Hikan to wait up because she's also going to go drinking." Hikan takes fifteen, and I take fifteen as well, which means the rest has to go to someone. <laughs> um, Range is just looking at the pouch and sees. Plenty more than what he was thinking of. Huh. All right, at least that's one problem solved. And he uh, heads off uh, after the rest of the group. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, is everybody going to the to the inn? Yep. Okay. Um. So, you head over towards the inn. Um, which I think actually I'm going to use some a bit more appropriate music here. This should work, at least for now. Um, I need to rearrange my jukebox, I think. Mm. Um, as you uh, as you head over, there's uh, you see the Otter Rock and Drum. It's the biggest building in Rigginstead, um, primarily because a lot of people stop here just for a night before they head on. Mm. There are plenty of other buildings in the town. It's just that this is more than likely going to be the place where most people visit um heading inside you see that there is a large central central hall filled with tables a stage and a bar and there are stairs that head upstairs uh presume presumably to rooms that are where people can stay a single stocky woman uh hylian stands at the bar uh, cleaning a glass while the other patrons quietly and pleasantly have conversations and drink and eat in their own pace. Um, it's all right going. It's nice and cozy. The ver probably very generic as far as fantasy inns go, I suppose. But no, no big nice. dwarven bar fights as of yet. <laughs> no, no fight pit. Goron. No nothing. It's just Goron. Just <laughs> Goron fighting pit. Um, but yeah, so. You you find yourself in. There's plenty of spaces to find a table if you want to find a table, of course. I walk straight up to the bar. Okay. The okay. farmer told us to tell you that we did a nice thing for him, and, and I wanted nice to thing, ask about we, drinks. Yes, by nice thing we <laughs> he means saving uh, Josiah. What he oh. Said. So oh, that, help, you, um... that help wanted ad is no longer uh, relevant. Oh, you saved the boy. Excellent. Well done. Um, by all means, drinks on the house. Uh, she disappears briefly. And, uh, A dangerous she, statement to make. Um, she, she disappears briefly and brings like four tankards down and puts one in front of you. They're empty at the moment. It says, so what will it be? Will it be ale? Would it be whiskey? Would it be uh, rum? Or would it be something a bit more exotic and dangerous, perhaps? Huh. I um, would take one rum, please. One rum? What do you mean by dangerous? Well, we got something in earlier called Goron Rot. Have you heard of this? Um. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh... I've heard of that. I'm lying through my teeth. Um, Make a bluff check. <laughs> I, know what, I know what this is. <laughs> Shh. I'm not saying that. Show doesn't know what it is. It's just like, yeah, eh, go on, booze. Eh. Uh, so you say, uh, Inception. It says, uh, so she, the barmaid quirks a, like, quirks a brow and says, uh, so you know what it is, and you know that it is a very dangerous drink, yeah? Are you sure you want to be sampling something like that? Especially my, in something as internet, big as this? And she my taps the side of the tankard. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, 
He says, uh, so, um, you know what Goron Rot is? Do you, are you sure you want to try it? Especially in a tankard of this size? And it taps the tankard. It's a fairly average-sized beer well, stein. Let's, let's not start with, with the tankard, shall we? Um, like, uh, a small, smaller whiskey tumbler? Perhaps, if you have that sort of final. Shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have something a bit smaller. A bit Thank smaller you. for uh, your size. Then she disappears and comes back with a shot glass. Clunk with this murky, dark, smoky liquid in it. Um, mm. Nice whiskey. What color is it? It's kind of. It's black and it looks like it has. Um, it's like, it looks like the stuff that happens to water after you've, like, you know when you've been painting for a while, it becomes that black sort of, uh, uh yeah. It, it's, it's not like a licorice liqueur, is it? No. No. Thank Guinness, the duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it's Renly, the, it has, um, a, it has only, the color constituency. Popo. Only a few days older than like uh, adulthood um, is going to take that shot glass and down it in one, <laughs> or at least try to. Oh, you'll be, a... able, you'll be able to neck it, but the, the side effects. <laughs> Make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mm. <laughs> He's never been hugged by a Goron, has he? Oh, I mean, my. Oh, no. I haven't so... either. I've heard things. You down it. And there's a pleasant tingling sensation as it goes down your throat into your stomach. And you're like, Ooh. oh, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> and the rest of you see Renji just kind of almost from perfectly normal and fine to utterly unconscious in the span of a, in like a blink of an eye. And Tyrina just sees this and laughs her head off. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, that's awesome. That's absolutely amazing. Show he didn't know what it was, did he? <laughs> and it's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> he knows uh, now. I know uh, now. That's uh, what's important. And he'll know not to for later. Oh man! Show, show turns to to the lane to to the bar to the bartender and just like I'll have a glass of these and I'll sort them out. <laughs> Ren, show hefts up Frenji and like sort of carries him over to like one of the tables, like like a like a, a this place has like booths, kind of right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next to the next to the window, props him up. <laughs> it, it I'm, I'm thinking up. Renji hasn't had time to. Uh, Take off his shield yet? <laughs> show, 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 show sorts it out for you. He'll like take it off. He'll put it on the table. Like you need to like be sat comfortably whilst you're currently unconscious. Right. And it's uh, just like just props him up, and it's just like what have you got? Um. So Tarina asks for like an ale, and it's it's provided, and the rum is also provided for Khan, and uh, they, uh, Tarina, gestures to her, kind of, you coming over to the table, or are you going to stay by the bar and get more drunk? I I look at the size of the tankard. It's fairly I... sizable. Like it's a, it's a standard beer stein, but it's filled to the brim with rum. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a lot of rum. That's a lot of rum. <laughs> you know, after the day we've had, I think one might do it. And I slowly walk over to the table, okay. careful not to spill a drop. <laughs> yeah. So. Everyone coming back to the table. She's standing. It's like, you know, Tyrina sits down. Says, "So, uh, uh your friend here is uh, lightweight. <laughs> I w I wouldn't say lightweight. It's you know, more like the drink is a heavyweight, and by heavyweight, yeah. I mean it's it's something that's designed to make Gorons drunk. You know, they make that stuff with sulfur, right? Why did he drink it?" I don't know. What it, was. it was it was so funny though. Um, <laughs> Legend state that they use it to drink and fuel steam powered engines. <laughs> um, after about like an hour of time, um, Renji, you do manage to become conscious, but it's very blurry and it's very uncomfortable. 
Just the, 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 no it's almost like seasickness upon waking up. Um, and it's not necessarily a hangover. You don't have a massive headache, but mm -hmm. after a certain amount of time, you do manage to come to. Thankfully, it is just, it was just a shot glass. God forbid you had like a proper full stein of the stuff. <laughs> What? You okay there, buddy? We haven't been on sea, have we? It's been about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Okay. I would, have, I, would have, uh. I would have informed you what that was, but the reaction was more entertaining than I thought. Ah, uh, my... my uh... My mom always told me not to go drinking. I know why now. Mm. <sighs> right. Now, if you ever meet one of my parents, this can be the thing you tell them. They'll be angry, but it's fun sure. enough. Show does smile to himself. <laughs> <laughs> what do not, they look not, a, like? not about not about the sword. I will not. Okay, thank you. Oh dear. Um and uh Tarina like takes a sip and says, So I don't think I've seen anybody like you three before. Care to share, or are we going to keep ourselves nice and secret? I am, uh, as you can tell by my dress, I am not opposed. We are Sheikah. Oh. Have you not been to Castletown yet? I pass through. Pass through, I see. Yeah, we usually stay up in the castle, or... Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh. Or at least myself and Renji do. <laughs> and you can you can see Renji trying to um, stomach <laughs> dry heave, uh, or at least not to dry heave, um, failing a little bit. But then he gets him back, uh, himself back up, and uh, it's like, yeah, um, me and my family we can generally be found. Um, at the castle. I work there. I live there. Must be fancy. Yep. Must be very fancy in there. Uh, it's different it than stuck. it is here. Let's just say that. Mm. Must be uh must be a lot better than the desert. I must admit. I mean. Can't stand the sand. Oh. Gets, a, gets everywhere. Just gets everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But young Hikar. <laughs> Why are you? I, was, I don't know who you are. Mm, it's not surprising. Most people don't know who I am. Um. Like. Kind of studied with. Uh, studies a loose term for it, I guess. But I kind of learned the things that I did from pretty much different temples and stuff, and was kind of passed around due to my lousy study habits, quote unquote. Mm, I could never tell from a glance. Hey, I punch stuff really good though, so there's that. Is that. Evident. <laughs> <laughs> yes. About that, you all did really well. I... One of the masters at the temple took a shining to me and started showing me a few tricks on what? how to do what I do. Moon shining, what I'd say. I mean, he would say that, except that most of it's an act, at least according to him. Right. <laughs> well, I wish I could have performed better, but all I'm good for is becoming a pincushion and glaring, it would seem. Yeah, give it time, it'll happen. Well, you did very well with that. 
Like I said, I took care of at least one of them. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, no. Master you know sent me out and told me to go find stuff, so I'm finding stuff. What kind of stuff? I don't remember. Huh. Right. Hmm. Probably want to get on remembering that, perhaps. And Miss Gall? Uh, Besides, of course, the call of adventure. What seems to draw you here? Well... A mixed bag, I think. I grew up, a lot like my sisters, uh, in the service of Etheria, the, the desert colossus to a lot of others. Um, Deity of spirits, deity of life, deity of everything. And a lot of times we would be told that there is, there is a notion that you have to enjoy life. Take it by the reins and go for it. And Well, I grew up admiring a lot of the generals that had uh, been serving in Gerudo, in Gerudo Valley. And to be honest, I feel like there's nothing more exhilarating than the rush of battle. And that's what called me to it. So I took up a great axe. I found the heaviest but cheapest armor that I could find. And I just went for it. I left my home and went north to see what I could find. Um, sadly, though, there's not much call for someone of my kind in the squabbling and conflicts that are happening out in the west of Hyrule. So I found myself traveling east and found myself here. With you guys. That is quite brave. <laughs> you said Etheria was a goddess of life? Mm hmm. And we saw all those dead cows. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she, she laughs and says, Oh, that's very sweet of you, but, um. To be honest, life does come with death. They work hand in hand. One and means nothing without the other. Exactly. Hmm. There are ways around that, aren't there? There are, but uh, not all of them are particularly enjoyable or friendly. But, you know, that's that's just the way it goes. Um, Renji glances down at his scabbard and it's like, I suppose not, no. Uh, I want everybody to make a perception check with Renji at disadvantage because of drunkenness. Drunkenness! <laughs> drunkenness! Drunkenness! Thirteen. Okay. Crit fail! <laughs> Eleven! Uh, you're, you're fine, show, because you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're still sober enough to know things, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, everyone is done perfectly all right uh, the three uh, the three of you notice as you're discussing this a pair of very finely dressed robed individuals enter the enter the tavern they seem fairly hurried as they do this and one of them as they enter immediately closes the door behind them um, uh, they seem to look around briefly um, chat amongst themselves and immediately head over to the bar um, can, both this, Renji... can this bar experience uh, be considered a short rest? Yes. Do I regain spell slots for a short rest? I think I do. I uh, do. Yeah, you do. You've got your arcane recovery thing. Ah, oh, yes. Now you've given it, you've given it away! Well, now I have my arcane recovery. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, oh, you, <laughs> you gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it away when you had chromatic orb, you fool. Yeah, shut no, up! No, no, no. no. <laughs> Those, that can be from several sources could be my background i said i worked in the castle i could be like a sage or something <laughs> yeah but they don't get first level spells <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm a wizard i'm gonna be a i'm gonna be a blade singer i <laughs> okay <laughs> i figured as much fine um, all right still, okay. it was still a toss-up between sorcerer and wizard mm. arcane uh, recurve all right so i get both my slots back or just one uh, I think it's just the one, but I'll have a look. I have my book here. 
You have learned to retain some of your magical energy by studying the spellbook. Once per day, when you finish a short rest, you can choose expanded spell slots to recover. The spell slots can have a combined level of wizard level, half your wizard level, rounded up. And so just the one. No, just one of the mag. Yeah, I have another pew. You have another pew. Hecon, um, being a guide, yep. his eyes focus on these robed people, and he keeps an eye on them as he uses one hand to sip his rum and slides his staff into the other hand and free to swing. Okay. Um, are they bad news? Let's find out, shall from, from we? Oh. In, from, in, um, from in the show's sleeve, he like puts onto the like he puts his hand on this and from his sleeve a rather small like well pretty big but not big enough to be like a tarantula a spider crawls out <laughs> dude and it's like go on then and then the spider like crawls up from the booth to the to, to across the table up the wall up onto the ceiling over to these guys and oh, I'll go either of you have pets too mm. no oh. my my parents never. No, it wasn't. No, didn't. No, no pets. Show closes his eyes and sort of like deafens him his own senses and takes the spider senses. Looks down and tries to hear him what they're saying. Okay. Um, so the conversation you have is more or less along these lines. Um, the short man says, uh, says to her, Excuse me, miss. We are looking for uh, a place to stay and possibly a place to hide. And um, the... Uh, the bartender, Sammy, um, responds rather con in a rather concerned tone, as one would do. It's like, what are you hiding from? Um, and the taller one, shh, 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 shh. sorry, sorry. Um, we're, we're hiding from um, some assailants who might be chasing us. Um, we, 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 we ran. Uh, quite a fair distance, and the short one's like, "Yes, yes, 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 yes. We we ran. Um, we can pay. We can pay you well if you just provide us with a room that we can hide in, and perhaps just tell whoever's chasing us that we haven't come this way, if possible." And Sammy's like, and Sammy pauses and considers it. And says, "Okay, so don't cause any trouble." Um, so she reaches under the bar and hands them like. A room key. Show returns to his own senses and the spider crawls back the way it came. Back up his sleeve. So... So the spider knows what happened, but we don't. The spider is mine. Well, yeah, he came from your pocket. Familiar. Oh, well, I'm unfamiliar I with that. <laughs> I lean over to very um... funny. <laughs> you take yes. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty-three <laughs> pun damage. <laughs> Dead ass. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have played a bard. I should have played a bard. I lean towards Tarina. What's a familiar? I'm not sure, but I believe it might be a very specialized pet of his. He oh. sets the spider out from his pocket again and just like has it in his palm. It's just like, he doesn't bite. Mm -hmm. Does he dance? Does he dance? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell him to dance, though how well he dances is dependent entirely on whether the, a spider can he, dance. He's one of them spiders that like everyone keeps editing to look like Star Wars spiders and shit. So he does the like little fucking like the jumping spiders. He's like <laughs> waving his arms around. It's like yeah, <laughs> love those little guys. It's like yes, he can dance. He's also not always a spider. Hmm. But this one's the most useful for the given reasons. Slides back up his up his sleeve. Right. But our, but our friends here, they seem to be running from something. Have Sailor. they gone to their room already? Uh, no, they're still discussing things with um, with Sammy at the bar. Alrighty. 
I get the brilliant idea, and I chug the rest of my rum. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. And then Ooh. I shake my empty cup, look at it slightly disappointed. I think I'm gonna go get another one. Right. And I walk up to the bar. Hold on, I'm thinking of getting something else to drink now. And position myself behind and between the two men. And I will wait stand my at the bar <laughs> next to the two uh, cloaked figures. And I will ask for Sammy to um, make me something sobering. Uh, Sammy looks over to you and there's a slight smirk as you bring this up and she says, oh, well, by all means, um, I'll be back in a moment. Uh, she disappears to um, the back room. In that, th uh, at that moment, I will take the opportunity to um, ask the bar patrons, uh, the cloaked figures, hmm. um, oh, I haven't seen you here, here before. And who might you be? Uh, two cloak figures. They they look at you and they they seem a bit dubious. But one of them says, "Oh well, um, um, I'm I'm Avalon, and the gentleman, the tall gentleman behind me is um, is Miles, and Miles presumably mm -hmm. waves his hand. Um, now that you're close enough, you can see that their robes aren't exactly like dark black cult robes. They're kind of like red, white, and golds on them." Way too um, they they look very fancy. They they look mm. somewhat familiar for those of you who have been in Castletown before. Okay. Um, I probably know what they are. Yeah, <laughs> if, but um, I need to get closer. So, I, well, if, if I, I say, yeah. given that I um, grew up in the castle, mm. what would I know of them? Um. You feel like probably these individuals work as uh, scholars or aides, mm -hmm. possibly to one of the nobles in the city. Right. Given that I'm in those circles, would I recognize them? Uh, make a... Make a general intelligence check. General intelligence? I yeah. Assume. Just to tell. Just to tell. Yep. That's a fourteen. You believe these to be scholars who work for the Lord for Lord Simeon, um, a noble who is in charge of the go of uh, education as part of the government. Right. Um. Darn it! Then they might know me. Probably not. <laughs> Miles seemed to be slightly hesitant. Could I roll insight to see if he's being sure, or how truthful he's being? Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you don't believe that they're trying to deceive anyone. Uh, it's more or less like they seem guarded because a bunch of strangers, a bunch of noticeably armed strangers, have just wandered up to them in the middle of the bar. And they were, and they seemed already frazzled to begin with. Mm. Um, so Noticeably just... armed, I have a walking stick. I don't know what anyone's talking about. And you're associated with a man with a sword, another man with a sword, and a giant warrior woman with a great axe on her back. <laughs> Show does walk up and plays a hand on Renji's shoulder, just like maybe we should step outside. But, but, Tony oh. hasn't seen these robes yet. They're awesome. Hey, come take a look. Tyrina heads over and it's like, what's up? Look at these robes. They're pretty. They're very fancy. What are they made out of? Gentlemen. <laughs> like, to stop this, to show just like, mm -hmm. gentlemen. What is this ailing you? Trying to make friends. Um, I walk away dejected. I... Turn away from the two, mm -hmm. and I wait for Sammy to get my drink. So, um, as as Show asks, as I want to say to you, uh, Alan says, well, we, were, "We were out in the fields. We were doing our research, and and he's interrupted as there is a series of screams from outside, and that 
is where we will end the session for today. No! Feral. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> session one. In the session books. one. Yeah, session mm. one of Hyrule Chronicles has been recorded and done, and everything is great. And I've looked at it, and it's, it's still going. Okay. Still going. I just have to do some editing tonight. Um, okay. But yeah. Uh, so it was a little shorter than, than it was, but I feel like if I was to continue onwards, it might have taken us a while to get through the next couple of sections. So um, yeah, fair enough. And I have work the, in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, with that, thank you for joining us for the first episode. Um, this has been Articulate T, your game master. I am joined with Steve the Seregios. Hello. Goodbye. And, he's, and he played uh, show Dias. Um, then there has been the Nether Lad playing Renji. Slap Lugger. And finally, there's Avalanche playing Hikan Sio. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Bye. If you liked what you listened to, or you thought you had some thoughts or anything, please feel free to provide some feedback or anything like that. Like I said, this is mainly just for fun, but I do hope that we can improve the quality a bit to make it more enjoyable. I know there are a couple of issues going into it, uh, regards to dice rolls not being named, or descriptions being a bit vague, or maybe some audio glitches here and there. We're working on it. This is the first formal attempt at this sort of thing that we're doing. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much for listening. If uh, you want to listen to more, please let me know and I'll try and post some more. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.